cowbell. Now, hopefully I didn't break it. Neat! I can switch between mics if I'm paying attention. How likely is that to be happening? This is almost there. Thanks, Freestyle. I am kicking in the house tonight. I move my body from left to right. To all you freaks, don't stop the rock. Because I'd be kicking. And yo, what up? What up, yo? It's Monday. Doing this again. Oh, golly. Can you believe it? The month is over, practically. The year is one third over, practically. Four months down, eight months to go in 2012. Tomorrow is May Day. Get communist. Get communist on them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Must be my dude, Die Dr. Pepper. With Avengers. The Avengers cans are in the vending machine. The Avengers. Cheers. As you can tell, got my awesome shirt on. Awesome Monday. The weekend was spent recovering. It was a big week last week. There was a lot of going out and doing stuff. There was not a lot of going out and doing stuff on the weekend. It was a lot of staying home and resting and reclining and catching up on stuff and putting another set of graphics together for the seven for next month because I don't do that stuff far enough ahead of time. But at least I got it done before it was too late, unlike last month. But nobody knows. No, that's okay. Nobody knows the same. And who can blame them? Who wants to read about depressing stuff that happened seven years ago, like Chris Candido dying? That's sad. Oh, yeah. There was some wrestling last night, though. Boy, oh, boy. We got some opinions about that wrestling. Specifically, the... Uh, John Cena Brock Lesnar match. Yeah, that one white hair. I take care of that. That ah, makes me look distinguished. I can't get as worked up about it as some of you can. I first of all, it's way too early. Let's see what they do tonight to mess it up. Then we can be angry. But Brock's a part timer. So I can't say I'm totally surprised he didn't quite go over. And yet, what he did, assuming that this uh, writes out Cena, who, yes, got the victory. Oh, and I'm so up in arms about it, I'm going to go to the internet and post about it. I, it. Yes, Cena got the victory, but at what cost? If he is so injured that he gets, that he disappears for a couple months, isn't that as good as getting a, a victory as far as pushing Lesnar? I mean, you can't give everybody the same monster push. Clearly, they're so worried about that that they will treat Lord Tenzai and Ryback differently. As if we can't notice that they're both in squash matches. Tenzai, at least, he's squashing more Job to the Stars guys, we would say. And lest you tune out during a squash match they keep going backstage to show you people you don't care about watching the TV screen as if that somehow is going to keep you from realizing you're watching a squash match with Ryback. That whole thing, I don't know. But that's me. I notice stuff like that. Maybe the other, the real audience doesn't notice stuff like that. But that match was great. It wasn't the blood, although it was interesting to see if they decided to go with blood for this one. But just the fact... That match was so different from everything we've seen. I don't want to say going back years, but it feels like years. I mean, we haven't seen a hard-hitting, uh, you know, when you watch it, it kind of appeals to that visceral, yeah, I'm watching a fight 
feeling that we used to get all the time watching wrestling. Maybe not necessarily WWE, WWF, but ECW, WCW occasionally back in the good old days, NWA. And I like it. You know, I've quoted Jeff Amder on this before, the great ancient timekeeper Jeff Amder from Maryland. I like sports entertainment. And so often the WWE wants to give me sports entertainment. And it's not as if it's such a subtle, nuanced difference that you wouldn't see it. But I really enjoyed that main event. Even though the ending wasn't what I expected. Now, I think everybody expected Lesnar to go over. And as soon as it happened, it was all, oh, now I don't like that match. Really? You like you liked the match up until the very end? It's kind of weak. I understand where you're coming from. More, more times than I can count. An entire show, make or break, solely rests on the final segment, or the last thing that happened. And if it's good enough or bad enough, yes, it will cancel out the entire show that happened before it. I don't think this was one of those times, though. And it was really weird that they kept on. Because I don't know if they were trying to do the shooty thing. I mean, if they were, as soon as Cena had the bike, they should have cut off. And then there would have been, ooh, surprising words from Cena will give you an edited version the next night on Raw. But they didn't play it that way. So it'll be interesting to see how much, if any, of that plays at all. If they want to be real shooty about it, they won't talk about that at all on Raw. Or they'll have the Cena come out and repeat it, basically. But I don't know. My point is, and I do have one, Snap judgments are great, but I don't think this is the time for it. I think we should at least wait 24 hours and see what Raw has. I think there is a bigger picture in mind here. And I know we've been burned enough time placing faith in this crack team of crack heads, but this time, we should probably wait and see. Let's at least wait until tomorrow. Boy, tomorrow, boy, the internet can light up with how awful it was and how terrible it was and why the hell is Lord Tensai, who's clearly Prince Albert, a white guy, spitting in his hand and... Ah, I'm kidding. But some of you geniuses tend to get ahead of yourselves, and you really shouldn't. I mean, just for crying out loud, watch the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. I hope you've enjoyed this show. Those of you who are confused by the fact that I talked about wrestling for ten minutes... I'm very sorry. Did it get you interested in Raw, at least? I'll be live tweeting it tonight. And that'll be something else entirely. My entire goal is to say one thing thoughtful enough, insightful enough, or funny enough to get you to retweet it. Because my cloud score depends on it. Actually, my cloud score is above 50, and I have no idea why, but if you contributed to that at all, thank you. It's not from watching these videos, because I don't think they even take YouTube into account. But what do I know? I've ignored all your comments, and I'm sorry. Otto, who had a wrestling comment, talked a little more about SDW, and there was one thing he said that caught me, and he said he was flipping through photos from SDW taken 12 years ago tomorrow. CM Punk is almost unrecognizable. Blonde, fewer tattoos. I would speculate that if you saw CM Punk just coming into ECW, and when was that? 06, 07? 05? Whenever it was? Even from then and now, the difference is just so weird. And that'll be something for you to think upon when you're busy ignoring him in favor of Lesnar and Lord Dansai. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.